If you haven't already signed up to vote this coming year, please go ahead and do so outside at the booth. Also, we have a special guest from the Garden Grove Unified School District who is running for school board, Nicholas Dibbs. Uh, you guys can go outside and meet him, talk to him about what's happening with the Garden Grove Unified School District. Once again, IOSOC does not endorse anyone who's running. On Saturday, October 1st, Muslim Speakers Bureau will be holding a Dawah training session here at ISOC from 12 noon to 4 p.m. This is an opportunity to learn effective Dawah skills, learn how to engage in dialogue, take a flyer from the outside, from the booth outside for more information. Sunday, Toastmasters will be holding a meeting at 3.30 p.m. ISOC is pleased to announce the return of Coffee Morning for Sisters every first Tuesday of each month, starting October 4th. Guest speaker is Dr. Sabu, who will be giving advice on Islamic upbringing. Once again, that's October 4th from 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the conference hall. A delicious meal will also be served for $10. On October 7th, ISOC Sisters Club will be hosting a cooking competition and a board games night. See the flyer outside for competition rules. This is a great opportunity for mothers, daughters, and sisters, and also friends to join in some healthy competition. Then on Saturday, October 8th, Umma Clinic will be holding their gala. Flyers available outside, outside at the booth or at the ISOC office. On October 23rd is our annual Open Mosque Day. This is a good opportunity for you to invite your non-Muslim neighbors, friends, colleagues, to visit the masjid and have an opportunity to learn firsthand about Islam and Muslims. The program will include talks with Dr. Siddiqui and meet Sister Tahseen Ahmed, author of Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Mary, a simple, easy-to-read book that attempts to remove the misconceptions that often give rise to Islamophobia. Also, ISOC is pleased to hold a candidates forum on Friday, October 21st. Meet the candidates, educate yourself about the various propositions. ISOC once again cannot and does not endorse any candidate. But we do remind every single one of you one more time to exercise your civic duty. Today, Orange Crescent School will be having a Kona ice truck outside all proceeds will be given to OCS. And one last announcement is, I'm pleased to announce for the third time, third annual, we're having our OC Halal Food Festival on November 5th. More details will be online on our Facebook page and flyers will be out soon. Once again, we're having the OC Halal Food Festival on November 5th. Uh, I'd like to give it to some of our OCS students for a brief message. Assalamu uh, alaikum, my name is Elias. Assalamu alaikum. And my name is Uwais. Hope you all are having a wonderful Jama'ah. Tonight we will be having a Qiyam here in our Masjid. There will be a, a Quran recitation and we, we will pray Qiyam. It will be tonight from 7.30 to 10, inshallah. Hope you guys can all come and join us, inshallah. Jum'a Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. A 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله الله تعالى بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله الشهيدا أما بعد فإن أستق الحديث كتاب الله وإن خير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وإن شر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار all praise is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise him, we thank him, we seek his help and peace and blessings upon his prophets and messengers, all the prophets and messengers of Allah from Adam alayhi salam to Nuh alayhi salam to Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam and the last and the final prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam wa alayhi wa alayhi wa May the peace and blessing of Allah be upon all of them upon their families, upon their followers. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi his final prophet and messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, يُقَلِّبُ اللَّهُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارُ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَعِبْرَةً لِأُولِي الْأَبْصَارِ Surah An-Nur Allah alternates the night and the day Truly, in this is a lesson for the people of sight. And Allah says in Surah Al-Furqan, 
تبارك الذي جعل في السماء بروجا وجعل فيها سراجا وقمرا منيرا وهو الذي جعل الليل والنهار خلفة لمن أراد أن يذكر أو أراد شكورا Blessed is he who puts constellation in the sky and placed therein a lamp and a shining moon and it is he who made the night and the day to follow each other for whoever wants to reflect and whoever wants to be thankful. Inshallah, this coming Sunday we shall welcome our new year of Hijrah the year 1438. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us in the coming year and always and keep us on the right path. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove the difficulties of those who are, in, who are suffering and who are in difficulties here as well as in other parts of the world. This world in which we live is the world of transition. It is the world of change. There is nothing permanent here in this world. You see around you, there are people who are happy and there are people who are sad. There are people who welcome a baby in their home and there are people who lose a loved one who pass away. There are people who are getting married and there are people who are getting divorced. There are people who are achieving and there are people who are losing. This is the life. Even in your own life, every person, sometimes you are happy, sometimes you are sad, sometimes you are healthy, sometimes you are sick. Sometimes you gain, sometimes you lose. Even in your spiritual state, Sometimes you are in a very good spiritual state and sometimes you are not. One of the poets said it very nicely, Sometimes I see the highest things in my vision. Sometimes I cannot see even the back of my, my foot. <laughs> this, this, the, this is the, 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 the way of life. So, the only one who does not change is Allah. The only one who does not die is Allah. Who al He is the one who is the living one. And everybody else is going to die. He is the one who does not sleep. He does not get drowsy. He is the one who does not get tired. He is taking care of the heaven and the earth and everything in between and does not need any rest. So that is Allah. Everybody else is creature. And the creatures are susceptible to accidents. They are susceptible to difficulties as well as happiness and goodness, all of this. Rasulullah used to get up during the night and he used to say, Allahumma anta al-awwalu, falaysa qablaka shay. Wa anta al-akhiru, falaysa ba'daka shay. Wa anta al-zahiru, falaysa fawqaka shay. Wa anta al-batinu, falaysa dunaka shay. Wallah, you are the first, there is no one before you. And you are the last, there is no one after you. And you are the apparent, there is no one above you. And you are the imminent, and there is no one, no one beyond you. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, the sustainer, the Lord of the worlds. So we are, our life is in this situation. And it is very important that we pay attention to the time that we have. The moment that we have, because these moments are passing. Ali radiallahu an, as it is reported in Sahih al-Bukhari, he used to say, Irtahalati dunya mudbirah, wartahati al-akhiratu muqbilah, 
بولے کل واحدت منها بنون فکونو من ابناء الاخرہ ولا تکونو من ابناء الدنیا فإن اليوم عمل ولا حساب وغدا حساب ولا عمل This dunya is moving out ارتحلت الدنیا مدبرہ This dunya is moving out وارتحلت الاخرة مقبلة And akhara is coming in Hereafter is coming in And there are children for both Children of dunya and children of akhira وَلِكُلِّ مِنْهُمَا بَنُونَ There are children of dunya and the children of akhira So he said فَكُونُوا مِنْ أَبْنَاءِ الْآخِرَة وَلَا تَكُونُوا مِنْ أَبْنَاءِ الدُّنِيَا Be the children of akhira That means devote yourself to akhira And this dunya he said dunya This dunya is amal wala hisab Here you are asked to do but the final judgment is not here. There will be a day when there will be final judgment and then you will not do anything. La amal bal hisab. Hisabun wala amal. So one has to work on that. One has to keep using the time. The movement of the days and the weeks and the years reminds us. That is, we are... This world is moving. The time is moving. And the time has to be used properly. Most of the people are losers about time. And by the time, Allah says, by the time, people are losers. Al insan, human beings are losers. Except those who believe and do the good deeds. So most people. They don't pay attention to their time. If Allah gives you time, use it in the right way. And the longer you live, be thankful to Allah. That Allah has given me long life. I benefit from this. Every day gives you an opportunity. Every year that giving you an opportunity to do the right things. You know, somebody asked the Prophet ﷺ, who is the best person? Man afzalu nas ya Rasulullah Who is the best person or messenger of Allah? And the sahaba used to ask him this kind of question often and he used to give them several messages so one of the time one time he gave the message and when the person asked him he said Man taala umruhu wa hasuna amaluh The best person is he who live long and do good deeds so it is nice to live long Take, take good care of yourself so you live long. But not just living long for the sake of being living long. Not just life for the life's sake. But doing good things. One who lives long and who do good deeds. And then they ask him, Ya Rasulullah, Man sharrun nas, who is the worst person? He say, Man taala umruhu wa sa'a amalu. Who is the worst person? Is it the one who lives long and does do bad things? Allah gave him long life. Allah gave him opportunity to become a better person, to find the way to Jannah, but he does not. So he wastes his time. He does not take care of his time. So when we are in the new year of Hijrah, we have to reflect these moments are good to remind ourselves. You know, we can remind ourselves every day. Every morning is a, is a new day. You can remind yourself. And you say, what, how was my yesterday? And what I'm going to do today? And then what I'm going to do tomorrow? There is a beautiful saying of Ali radiallahu anhu, Man istawa yawmahu fawa maghboon. The one who has two days equal is a loser. Today must be better than yesterday. And tomorrow must be better than today. Every day we should try to improve ourselves. And especially improve ourselves in our Iman. In our faith. Faith can go up and down too. You know, there is one part of Iman that does not change. 
and that is your belief in Allah, in His prophets, in His angels, in His books, in the last day. Of course, these are the articles of Iman, they don't change. But the, the quality of Iman, the intensity of Iman, it changes from the time to time. So that's why it is good to keep on checking it. How is my Iman? Sahaba, they used to come and they say, sit together, reminding each other, say, let us get together, let us have Iman together. Da'una no men. Let us believe. Let us go to masjid and pray. Let us believe. Let us strengthen our Iman. This was their concern. So Hijrah of the Prophet ﷺ reminds us the struggle of Rasulullah ﷺ. The struggle of the Sahaba. What kind of difficulty they went through and how they remained firm in their faith. Hijrah was not just a movement. It's not migration from another place. Hijrah was an effort, a struggle. They were threatened with their life. They had to leave their homes, their property, everything for the sake of Allah. Man kanat hijratuhu ila Allahi wa rasooli fa hijratuhu ila Allahi wa rasooli Their hijrah was for the sake of Allah and for the sake of the, of the messenger of Allah. For the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when they had difficulty, they did not give up their faith. When they had problem, when they had challenges, they remained firm. They had their trust in Allah. Tawakkalna ala Allah. They had trust in Allah. They were steadfast. Istiqamah and thabat. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when they heard that, then Allah's help came. Allah's support came. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِلَّا تَنْصُرُوهُ فَقَدْ نَصَرَهُ اللَّهُ إِذْ أَخْرَدَهُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا سَانِيَ سْنَيْنِ إِذْ هُمَا فِي الْغَارِ إِذْ يَقُولُ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَحْزَنْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ سَكِينَتَهُ عَلَيْهِ وَأَيَّدَهُ بِجُنُودٍ لَمْ تَرَوْهَا وَجَعَلَ كَلِمَةُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا السُّفْلَى وَكَلِمَةُ اللَّهِ هِيَ الْعُلِيَا If you are not going to support the messenger, Allah did support him. The disbelievers expelled him. And there were only two. Sani Yasnani, Suma Fil Ghar, the two of the... He was the second of the two. They were in the cave. And he was reminding his companion, Grieve not, Allah is with us. La tahzan inna Allah ma'al. Fa'anzal Allahu sakinatahu alayhi. Allah sent down his peace. Sakinah. And this sakinah comes because of iman. The more iman you have, the more sakinah you will have. The more tranquility you have. The more peace you will have. فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ سَكِينَتَهُ عَلَيْهِ Allah sent down this sakinah upon him. وَأَيَّدَهُ بِجُنُودٍ لَمْ تَرَوْهَا And help him with the forces that do not see. Invisible forces came to help, to help Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Help the messenger of Allah and the companion. أَيَّدَهُ بِجُنُودٍ لَمْ تَرَوْهَا وَجَعَلَ كَلِمَةَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا السُّفْلَى And the word of those who disbelieve, Allah put it down. Allah's word is high. They were saying that they are going to kill him. They are saying that we are expelling him. They were saying that we will defeat him. Their words were humiliated. Allah put them down, their words. Their words did not have anything. Allah's word is supreme. Allah's word is high. So brothers and sisters, Hijrah gives us the message. لا تحزن إن الله معنا Grieve not, Allah is with us. But Allah will not be with us unless we are with Allah. If you turn your face to the other side and you say, no, Allah turned to my, 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 his face towards me, no. But if you turn towards him, he will come towards you. If you come towards him walking, he'll come to you running. And Allah is ready to help. Allah is ready to help. That's the message that we get from Hijrah.
of the Prophet ﷺ. And hijra has two meanings. One is the hijra means leaving your town, your country, your place where you are and to moving to another place. That's physical hijra. We call it migration. But the other meaning of hijra is giving up something. That's why in Hajjatul Wada, in the last Hajj, the Prophet ﷺ gave his, in his sermon, he said, do you know who is mu'min, who is believer? And the Prophet said, Man ya'manuhu nas fi amwalihim wa anfusihim The one whom people trust with their life and their money. True believer is the one whom people trust. The trustworthy person. And do you know who is a Muslim? And he said, Muslim man salim an nasu min lisanihi wa yadi. Muslim is the one from whose tongue and from whose hand other people are safe. And you say, who is Mujahid? Atadruna Mandil Mujahid, you know who is Mujahid? The one who does jihad? Man jahad nafsahu fi ta'atillah. The one who struggles with his own self to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the real struggle. You obey Allah. You stop doing wrong things. When yourself says, do wrong, you say, no, I'm not going to do wrong. That is the real struggle. And then he said, you know, Manil Muhajir, who is Muhajir? The one who does Hijrah. He said, Man hajara man ahallahu an. The one who leaves things that Allah has forbidden. So this is the Hijrah, my brother and sister, every day we have to do. And each one of us have to do. Whether you are native or you are foreigner, wherever you come from, 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 everybody is going to do hijrah. Every Muslim must do hijrah. And that hijrah is get out from the wrong thing to the right things. From your selfishness to graciousness. From close mindedness to open mindedness. From stinginess to generosity. That is the hijrah. We have to do that. From sin to virtues. From disobedience to obedience. From kufr to iman. That is the hijrah. That's why hijrah is so significant, so important. So message of hijrah is La tahzan inna Allah ma'al. That is the hijrah. That is the message of hijrah. That is the hope of hijrah. Grieve not, Allah is with us. So, inshallah, Difficulties are there, but we can overcome the difficulties by being on the right path. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the right path. وَاصْبِرْ وَمَا صَبْرُكَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ وَلَا تَحْزَنْ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا تَكُوْ فِي ضَيْقٍ مِمَّا يَمْكُرُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مُحْسِنُونَ In Surah Al-Nahl, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Be patient. And your patience is only with Allah. And grieve not on their account, nor be distressed by what they plot. Truly Allah is with you, with those who are mindful of Him, and those who do good. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah maqtim aamana haza bir rida wal ghufran, wa tajawad amma hasala fiya minna min taqseer wa asiyan. Wallah, let us conclude this years of ours with your approval, with your forgiveness. And forgive us whatever mistakes, whatever wrong things we have done. Allahumma balighna al-aamal jadeed bil sihhati wa saada Wallah, help us to receive the new year in good health, in happiness. Wafiqna fiya li kulli ma yurdiq anna And help us to do things that will make us pleased with us. Allahumma ma qaddartahu fihi min khairin wa barakatin wa afiyatin wa sihhatin wa nasrin wa barakah faktub lana minhu awfara hazzin wa nasib Wallah, whatever you have planned for this year, goodness, blessings, safety, security, good health, victory, Wallah, give us all give us the highest portion of that. And whatever you have written 
in your book of destiny any sharr any bala wama qaddartahu fihi min bala'in wa sharr fasrifhu anna ya rabbal alam any difficulty any problem that you have written is going to happen in the coming year wallah well, keep it away from us wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه الطيبين الطاهرين. so first day of محرم إن شاء الله is the Sunday and uh, the tenth of محرم uh, is the ninth and tenth of محرم are the days are recommended very much for fasting. Uh, these are known as the days of عاشوراء. I will remind that again inshallah next week uh, so it is important that uh, those of you who can you fast on those days thanking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings and asking his forgiveness uh, there is a great reward for fasting on the 9th and on the 10th of muharram we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us and keep us on the right path إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وعلى من تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين خصوصا على الخلفاء الأربعة أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعلى السيدين الشهيدين أبي محمد الحسن وأبي عبد الله الحسين وعلى أمهما فاطمة الزهراء وعلى عمه المعزمين المكرمين عند الله والناس الحمزة والعباس وعلى سائر الصحابة والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعنا معهم بفضلك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين ويا أرحم الراحمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واجعلنا منهم واخذل من خذل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تجعلنا منهم اللهم انا نسالك العفو والعافيه والمعافاه الدائمه والفوز بالجنه والنجاه من النار عباد الله رحمكم الله ان الصلاه تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله اكبر فاقيموا الصلاه الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استو استو واستقيم سبو صوفا فقم Please make straight your rows your, your, your lines and keep yourself close to each other الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم وتخفوه يحاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون 
كُلٌّ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ لَا نُفَرِّقُ بَيْنَ أَحَدٍ مِّن رُسُلِهِ وَقَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا غُفْرَانَكَ رَبَّنَا وَإِلَيْكَ الْمَصِيرُ لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وُسْعَهَا لَهَا مَا كَسَبَتْ وَعَلَيْهَا مَا اكْتَسَبَتْ ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين الله أكبر سمیع اللہ لمن حمیدہ اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر الحمدللہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدن السراط المستقیم سراط الذین انعمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم ولدالین ان فی خلق السماوات والارض واختلاف اللیل والنہار لآیات اللی اولی الالباب الذین یذکرون اللہ قیاما وقعودا وعلا جنوبهم ویتفکرون فی خلق السماوات والارض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانک فقنا عذاب النار ربنا إنك من تدخل النار فقد أخزيته وما للظالمين من أنصار ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فامنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا وآتنا ما وعدتنا على رسلك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف الميعاد الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله
We have request for dua for uh, Mrs. Nishat. Uh, she is in the hospital in Houston. And uh, please make dua for her health. Also make dua for the health of Sister Rizwana Ahmed. She is undergoing chemotherapy. Our sister Maqsuda was our past president of the school board. She is having surgery. May Allah SWT make it successful. And three-year-old Nile Hari Hariya is undergoing surgery. Sister Gulha Gulhar uh, to Tokhi, uh, she also going under surgery. Uh, make dua for all of them. May Allah give them shifa. And dua maqfira for brother Shafiqur Rahman, a relative of Mrs. Mukhlis. Uh, please make dua for him. She passed away. Make dua maqfira for him. Allahumma shumardana wa rahamma wa ta'ana wa khutim bisalihati a'malana. Allahumma inna nasaka lafhu la'afiya. Wa al-mu'afat al-daima. Wa al-fawza bil-jannah wa al-najat min al-nar. Rabbi ghfir wa rahamu wa antakhir wa rahimu. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khari khalqi. محمد وآله وصحبه الطائد معين برحمتك يا رب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you Dr. Sadiqi for your khutbah May Allah bless you and the benefit from our khutbah Tomorrow inshallah we'll be going to the World Peace Conference in San Dimas from 8 to 1 and Dr. Sadiqi will be one of the speakers there and we'll be leaving the masjid tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning transportation will be available please brother and sister join us it's very important to attend our religion is the religion of peace, and we should be there, inshallah. Thank you, and jazakallah khair.